What's up guys, Ms. Cloth here, back for some Magic the Gathering content, and today we are talking some Lord of the Rings spoilers, and not only just any card, one of the most important cards in this set, and this is the one ring, and this card is awesome, so I'm super excited to talk about it, so let's read the card. So the one ring is four mana of any color for legendary artifact that has indestructible, and when the one ring enters the battlefield, if you cast it, you gain protection from everything until your next turn, and also, at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life for each bird encounter on the ring and you can tap it put a bird encounter on the one ring then draw a card for each bird encounter on the one ring so indestructible is pretty good it makes sense it's thematic the one ring can't be destroyed with conventional methods and there isn't many cards that exile so this will probably stay in play which could be a problem because its third ability makes you lose one life for each bird encounter so you'll have a much harder time destroying your own one ring now the second ability is actually really powerful and it makes sense because the ring makes you invisible so when you're invisible you have protection from everything which i think is really cool but it makes it a lot more competitive against aggressive decks against mid-range decks that want to hit your face but when you play this you can't it kind of offsets the damage you'll be taking from drawing the extra card and a combo that i think is hilarious and that is in standard is daffron founder of latinam because his return ability can target the one ring so every turn you can just play it again and again and again giving yourself protection from your opponent's creatures dealing damage to you for as long as this guy survive although it's not the best combo because he's very very easy to remove instead of shooting their bolts in your face they'll shoot him once and then you won't have the combo but it still could be really funny and in commander there's so many ways to just consistently bounce this so you can just protect yourself over and over again so yes i think that's a, it's a really cool ability now the last two abilities i have to differentiate between standard modern pioneer and commander because in commander you have 40 life so losing life every upkeep is way less dramatic than in formats where you have 20 life so for commander i think this card is absolutely insane the ability to tap it immediately when it comes in to get the card is very powerful and then the longer it goes the more cards you draw which is crazy because in a long game this card would give you so so much card advantage, it's crazy. And again, I have to bring back to Daphna, because if you bounce it, it loses the counter, so you'll stop taking damage. But in 20 life formats, the damage hurts twice as much. And there's a really weird part of this card, because control decks generally want card advantage. But this card, the longer you go, which is what control decks want to do, the more life you'll take. So it's really thematic in the fact that it gives you a great advantage, but it slowly kills you. So I think the best deck for this card is in control. It would be more of a mid-range deck that runs this for card advantage, but that can kill your opponent pretty fast before the ring takes you out. This card does a really weird thing because its second ability to give you protection for everything is really good against aggro, but the last two abilities are really bad against aggro. The card advantage this card creates is crazy. So you play it, you tap it, you gain protection, you go to your next turn with it. You've lost one life, you tap it again. You've drawn three cards and only lost one life. And then next turn, you lose three life, tap it again. You've drawn six cards for three life. And it just keeps on getting more exponential. It just depends how much life you can give. But the card advantage just so strong but this card is actually pretty strong in multiples because let's say you got the bird encounters really high and you're taking too much damage you just play another of the one ring you sacrifice the one with the huge bird encounters you get the trigger making protection from everything and you really need the protection counter because your life is so low and then you don't keep on drawing cards. So you don't lose the light. So I think this card is awesome. It doesn't have a color identity, so it can go in pretty much any deck. And it could also be really strong in like a mono white life game, because what white struggles with most is card draw. <laughs> And if you know a life gain deck, you won't mind taking all of that damage for all those cards. This card is f so freaking cool. I love the design. I love how it, it's so flavorful. It does exactly what the ring does. And I think this will be such a crazy card in Commander. It's going to be so 
strong and i cannot wait to play because the life you lose in commander is so worth it for the amount of cards this will draw so it's everything i have to say about the one ring i am so beyond hype for this set because if they're printing cards as strong as this this set is gonna be freaking dope